All right, so once again, I'm Tom Owens with MMAFightPass.com. Uh, you just got to see me look ridiculous on these punching bags. Uh, good time, though, man. This is uh, this is my kind of training inside of a garage like this. There's not a whole group of people here. Uh, it's just real basic, the coach, myself, and, and another student here. So I'm here with Anthony Torres, Jr. Anthony, thank you very much for inviting us over here. I, I really, really appreciate it, man. I, I really appreciate you reaching out. And that's what I want guys to do. I want you to reach out to me and get a hold of me. Is it recording good? Okay, so Anthony, uh, how did you meet Ruben and what made you want to get into boxing? Well, um, I got into boxing just because I wanted to do it. I wanted to change it up. And uh, I took my first fight by, pretty much by myself. And um, I was still training out of KO, uh, but I really wasn't training uh, focused on boxing. I was still in that MMA. And uh, I just wanted to get my feet wet and see how I would do. And um, first fight didn't go so well. <laughs> it was a, a learning experience. So I was like, man, I need to I need to get somebody that knows what they're doing and somebody that's been around the game, you know, somebody that can back me up and actually know what they're arguing about when it comes to the rules and weigh-ins and money and all that stuff. So I met Ruben uh, a couple years back at um, Vitruvian uh, whenever I was over there doing jiu-jitsu. And um, we kind of talked a little bit, but then I don't know why after my first fight, it, he popped back into my mind and I was like, why didn't I call him sooner? So I hit him up and I was like, hey, would you be willing to work with me? And no hesitation. He was like, yeah, let's do it. We got started and we did, uh, what was it? I think five fights last year. And um, yeah, we fought some pretty big names. Uh, all the guys, we were always the B side, but I mean, that comes with the territory, you know? And yeah. I was fighting a lot of young guys, 20 years old, 21 years old. And how how old are you, Anthony? I'm 32. I just turned 32 in August. So I'm a little bit older. So you're 32, and uh, I, when I met you, you were primarily a wrestler, and like we met out there at Team KO, and uh, which is kind of a wrestling background and a little bit of everything out there. But uh, it looks like you've really picked up your striking here with Ruben. Yeah, um, yeah I'm proud of you what, what you're doing here. Um, what what would you uh, tell somebody? Right, one of the big things that that myself, Tom Owens, what I'm doing with this podcast, and me and Archie Tovar and Chris Ronquillo is today's day and age you guys are probably noticing are almost every kid out there they're either in they're in some kind of a device either a cell phone a computer or a laptop and hardly anybody's getting outside out the door and doing any kind of physical training that's one of our big things right here that's one one thing i'm trying to promote is is for kids and young men not just kids young adults get out the door get off the device i like the device too but get off it and get some physical activity in your life. Get something like this, something positive like this. Yeah. What could you tell a kid that's out there watching us right now that wants to get involved in boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, or any of the arts? What's the first step that you would take, short and simple? Um, well, I would say video games don't teach you discipline. They don't teach you any sort of self, self defense that can actually help you with anything. I mean, so putting your kids in jiu-jitsu wrestling boxing whatever it is karate you know like even gymnastics i truly believe in starting your kids out in gymnastics it helps the bodies develop that way they can be more flexible and more well suited for the tumbling and all the slams and everything that come with the main wrestling and all those contact sports but um i think kids should really be put in to these uh programs especially the free ones there's a lot of free programs around this area the central valley is really really getting um a lot of exposure for these free free kids programs and i mean it's worth it i mean you can't complain about a free program you're gonna get rid of your kids for a couple hours they're gonna get tired they're gonna come home worn out and they benefit from it it's gonna teach them to to listen you know what i mean it, it teaches them that self that self-confidence and it, it just picks up their self-esteem i mean i think it's really beneficial for everybody not just the kids or the parents see that it's good for it's good for everybody Man, uh, thank you so much for letting us come into the garage, my brother. I really appreciate it. Um, Coach Ruben, could you come in and explain to us? You, you got a real wall of fame right here, man. I, I look at this wall, and I'm not, like I said, I never boxed professionally, guys, um, but I have watched a lot of boxing. And, and when I look at this wall, I see all kinds of OGs on this wall. Um, Ruben's, Ruben is not just the guy that's making this stuff on, up on his own. He's been around the block a few times. And uh, can you give us a little breakdown? Tell us a little bit about this wall, my brother. Um. A lot of it just tells uh, my journey um, as basically as a trainer right here. Um, so uh, through the actually through my nephew uh, Joseph uh, Quaylar, um, I was able to go to different gyms. Uh, we've we've uh, been to the gym of Oscar Valdez and uh, Jesse Magdaleno. We've been to their gym when they were part of this one gym um, in L.A. 
Uh, my nephew has sparred with uh, Leo Santa Cruz, uh, world champion. Everybody should know who Leo Santa Cruz is if you're a big boxing fan. Uh, we've we've been to wild card. We sparred in front of Freddie Roach. Uh, everybody should know Freddie Roach. Um, I mean, I mean we've sparred with uh, uh, what's that? Oh, uh, Carlos Banderas and Jose Banderas. Uh, they're f they're actually fighting tonight on uh, PBC Boxing. Uh, we actually got sparring with them guys. Really, really nice guys. Um, I mean, it's just it's just a journey. Um, we got another. Uh, I don't know if you can see from from there. Uh, we're actually where my nephew was in training camp with uh, Brian Valoria and with uh, Donnie Netes, which is uh, he's uh, the longest reigning uh, Filipino champion. Um, my nephew was part of that that group um and it's just um like i said it, a lot of it's just the journey uh my the coach from wildcard uh which is uh um um i can't even think of his name right now shoot that's all right um coach rodell i'm sorry coach rodell it dies coach rodell my old my old uh ex-world champion uh which kind of helped my nephew uh with training at, at wildcard at one time but uh, no, it, it, it's a journey. I mean, it, it's. I mean, I watch fighters; they win, they lose, they, they whatever. And I always say, keep believing, keep punching. It's a journey. It's a journey f for the trainer, for the fighter, even for people that um, are just training. And I call them uh, recreational boxers that just want to be in shape. It's a journey. Your journey is to maybe lose weight, get in shape, maybe uh, help get better, uh, have self defense. Um, it's a journey. It's a journey for everybody. You hear it right there, guys. It's a journey uh, for for family, for brothers, sisters. For you got some kids you want to get off the couch. Um, you got parents, maybe a dad that wants to get off the couch and do something. Um, uh, I want to thank you very much, Ruben, for for bringing us in. Man, I can't thank you enough. Um, one thing about uh, Ruben Quaylar Jr. I say that yes, right. Yes. Um, I follow you on social media, and 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 one thing I really love about you, brother, is. Uh, this guy puts out a positive prayer every day. Um, you know what I mean? Believes in uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, yes. and, and and every day, like you know, this last year has been been tough for me and my family. And uh, every time I see one of your posts, it, it gives me a little positive uh, feeling for the day. I, I really want to thank you for that. Thank uh, you, Anthony, for letting us come in. Thank Xavier Ortega, my cameraman, um, Archie Tovar, Chris Ronquillo. Uh, I couldn't do none of this if it wasn't for you guys. Um, yeah, I just thank everybody out there. If you want to get in touch with this guy, uh, um, explain to people just real quick, how can people get a hold of you if they want to do a little bit of training uh, with you or Anthony? Um, you can follow my, uh, I have a boxing page on Facebook. It's a Boxing for Life uh, Champion Club. And um, you can follow that. Uh, my, name, my, my phone number is 559-329-7934. Um, just give me a call and um, please call, don't just text. I want to hear your voice. You know, I know you want to hear my voice. And I usually take that as somebody serious about training. So just give me a call. We'll set it up. Like I said, yeah, it's it's in my garage, but it's it's a little more private. It's not a big crowd. And, um, you know, it's, like I said, it's more private. And, it's, you know, we could do one-on-one. -on -one. You just let me know. Let me know what you want to do. Um, any fighters out there, uh, MMA, uh, boxers, or just somebody that just wants to do a little bit of training, I do mitt work too. I, I, I do mitt work. We could work on a, on a plan, maybe a, a 30 minute plan where we just do mitt work. If that's what you want, that's what you need, I, I can do mitt work. Um, Any sponsors out there that you want uh, to um, Well, the one, uh, one sponsor, uh, Venom. Venom has really nice uh, gloves. Uh, they, they gave me a, a few gloves. Um, I've used their, their gloves uh, per, per, professional level really nice gloves uh, really nice uh, products that they put out there and um, I just um, uh, I I just want to thank I want I just want to thank the uh, Lord Jesus Christ um, he's the one that's um, been there for me um, ups and downs in my life and some people know my story um, about my daughter and my son-in-law and um, you know, and I, I want to thank my my wife uh, Lorena Duran, which is into jujitsu at, at Vitruvian, and uh, Purple Belt. I, I really thank her because she's always uh, supported me um, in this boxing uh, journey. And um, and I just I, I just thank you guys just for uh, 
you know, I, like I said, I, humbly, I, I'm really happy and I'm glad that you guys are out here, you know. Um. Yeah, we, uh, I thank Anthony Torres for hitting me up, man, and uh, I, I, I wouldn't have been out here, you know, I've, I know you only through social media, so, I, man, it's been a real honor to meet you today. Um, like I said, thank everybody out there for watching. It's uh, Tom Owens at MMAFightPass.com. The, we do the podcast, but we also do the show Inside the Dojo, and please reach out to me. Uh, like he said, don't just text and, and do it like that. Man, it's nice to hear a phone call, guys. It's nice to hear a voice and, uh, you know what I mean, and talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, if you would like MMA Fight Pass and Inside the Dojo to come to your gym or your garage or whatever you got going, uh, I'm down for any type of training. It doesn't have to be some fancy gym or nothing like that. This is just a basic garage, which reminds me a lot of a lot of you guys know me from the box. The, the box was just inside of a garage. And that's how we did it, and that's how we got well known. So thank you again, Ruben. I really appreciate it. Yes, definitely. Uh, war tape. War tape is a great tape. Uh, the best use the best. That's what they say. So I love their tape. So thank you, Mike Rodriguez. He helped set that up for me. There you have it, guys. War tape. And uh, once again, thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Xavier. Thank you, Archie and Chris Ronquillo. And I'm Tom Owens out, and we'll see you guys on the next show. This is Inside the Dojo, MMAFightPass.com out.